Sixth grader. Proud to have you back. All right, I'm out with Principal David Wiggins Good here morning. at East Elementary School. It's back to school starts now. You just let a ton of people come in at 7.30, the doors open. Absolutely. We're waiting in line. Absolutely. It's first day of school. We're yeah. going to do that for another 179 days, too. Well, it's an absolutely cloudless blue sky here on the first day of school at Coleman City School System. In the front of West Elementary School right now in the famous car line. Starts here, goes back all the way to five points, and I can feel it's a little bit longer. I'm West Elementary, I'm with Dr. Susan Patterson, our superintendent here at City Schools. It's going very smoothly today. Congratulations. Thank you. It's a great start. The kids are all excited, and um, I've only seen one parent crying this morning, so I think we're doing well That's getting the kids in class. Yeah. Again, you come in, and what's the first thing you look at when you come in? Raise your hand if you can tell me. Clementine? The board. The board. You're going to read that board. School has just started, Dr. Page. You gave a great intercom message. Tell us your thoughts this morning. Well, we had a good start, and had um, you know, 630 or so students coming to West this year, and uh, you know, always the first day, it's, you know, it's with newness, it's just things you have to kind of work out. But I, I was very pleased with, like, the arrival and how our students came in and, and uh, just a testament to, I think, a lot of the planning that our teachers do. And, no, good, morning. good morning. Welcome to East. What's up, darlings? Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Now, you don't get much chance to take a break during the summer, really, do you? No, sir, but it's all worth it for this moment. It's all worth it. What's up, Kylie? Um, good morning. Welcome back. Missed y'all so much. What can students and parents expect new here this year? Oh, man. There's always something new. Uh, one of the highlights this year is the work that the PTO has done in the lunchroom. They've given the lunchroom a facelift, painted it in color. Uh, they've got smart TVs down there. We're going to use it for a multi-purpose instructional space and a little TV viewing during... Good morning. Glad you're here. A little viewing during lunch times make it more enjoyable. Well, I am a fifth grader, and uh, she didn't get to bed till late. She was so excited. She was up, ready to go with 6.15, dress, shower, the whole thing. So there's lots of excitement, isn't there? There he is. I've seen a few sleepy eyes this morning, but um, I think they'll be fine once they get going this morning. Lots of excitement. Um, uh, the kids, you know, always anxious to get back to school, so we're, we're glad to have them in class. It's, um, that's the fun part. It is fun. On your first day of the week, which is typically Monday, you're going to be provided with a newsletter. And if all of you will look on your desk, you can see that newsletter. It looks like this. And it gives you a small little snapshot of what is going on this week. America and two republics for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. because I'm one of your car line parents and the line was long but it was pretty much done by 7.50 there was no line that's pretty good for uh, the I've first never, day last year wasn't quite like that so, no. so good job by you so what can we look forward to in this coming school year at West well we've just more learning and more improving uh, just uh, we've talked about we're um, focusing on our um, standards always which um you know, it's something our teachers get a little bit better at every year. Um, you know, if you think a look at accountability, we're always you know, wanting to do and improve on, on our state testing, but uh, that's not everything. We want to improve on um, you know, relationships with, with our families, and um, we've, we try to make an emphasis on that this summer, and we've worked with our leadership team. And, um, good morning, good morning. Welcome back. Ma'am? Yes, ma'am. Straight down the left. I can I love the hair, Kennedy. I thought about doing the same with mine. Good morning. Welcome back. You got my present? Got my present? Yeah. <laughs> Great, Second through six. Second, Second through, through six. Yes, sir. Every time. It feels like it. They're so little when they start. <laughs> yes, sir. Now, the, I have a daughter who's in the elementary school system, and she was up ready to go at 6.15 this morning. Oh, I didn't go to bed. Dressed, walked, and she went to bed late. So uh, My girls set their alarm, got up at 5.50 this morning, and I stayed up all night just thinking, what's the first day going to entail? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Glad you're back, Chloe. So it's, it's going to be a great day. We've planned. The teachers have planned. They've worked all summer. We're ready to go. Right now, I've got a question. Parents, kids think, well, it's, it's summer vacation. Everybody takes off for three months. That's not really how it works <laughs> at the administration and principal level, is it? 
No, that's really the busy time for principals and, and central office is preparing for the next school year. So getting schedules and getting maintenance and, you know, planning for the next school year. And teachers, too, you know, they, they don't stay home all summer. <laughs> They're here all summer getting ready and... Um, you know, they, they put so much time and hard work in, so we're just glad to, that they're so um, caring for our children and spend, spend that time even in their summers. Uh, we also have English listed, spelling, which you will have spelling this year. I'm not sure if you had spelling last year, um, but you will have spelling this year. And important events. Now, these are the things that you guys usually like to look at. What's happening? When are we out of school again? What's fun going on? And you can see we're already pretty packed with a lot of information. So this particular newsletter goes in your black take-home folder, which I'll provide with you, provide to you in just a little bit to put in your student binder. Well, while listening to your intercom speech, you emphasized the word superior, and you, you didn't explain it as if it was condescending. It's about being better, isn't it? Well, it's about improving every day, and I think that's what we're about. It's, uh, it's part of our mission um, is to you know, provide a superior educational experience. Well. You know, part of that is helping students improve and, and not necessarily, you know, we don't expect our students to come to us um, with per perfection, but we, all, we want them to think about, you know, what is each day? How can I get incrementally just a little bit better? And I, I want to say this about our teachers and our staff. They know our students. Uh, and I tell people that all the time. And I tell um, our teachers that, and, you know, they, they really know our students and they really know how to motivate our students. Uh, and I'm so proud of them. Now, I'm going to ask you a parent question. You focus your time on the students, the teachers, keeping this all going forward. What can we do as parents to make this experience better for our kids and for you guys? Keep supporting us like you've always supported us. Uh, we have great community and family support in Coleman. And just keep doing what we've always done.